All right, so in today's video, we are going to try out this new drone right here. Well, new to me anyways. It's been out for a little while, but this is the Tello DJI powered drone. And we're going to test it out, see what kind of footage it takes, and uh, let's just see how fun it is. So this is what today's video is gonna be. Before we begin, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you can get notified for future videos. I'd love to have you back in the next one. Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So we're going to uh, try out this Tello drone here. This is uh, not really a kid's drone. I mean, maybe it's, a, it's on the lower end of the DJI spectrum, but um, it's not a kid's drone, but it's not quite a professional drone. It's kind of like right there in the middle of the road there. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be um, a fun little experiment of getting my feet wet in the drone market. So I wanted to get this drone, try it out, uh, see how easy it is to fly drones and kind of get a little bit more experience before I upgrade and buy a more expensive drone. And so right now I'm, I'm in my church uh, gym right here because uh, it's dark outside. It's been raining for a couple of days and I wanted to uh, get it out into an open um, and see what it's gonna be like to use this thing and get a feel of the controls of making it go left, right, up and down. All right, so first I'm gonna show you guys some unboxing footage of what's inside this thing, and then we're gonna get it out of the box and fly it. So here it is. All right, so here's the Tello drone, and we got the three batteries here. I'm gonna take the first one out. Now, here's the cool thing about this uh, charger here. This is the Fly More package. And on this charger, when you plug it in and charge it, there's three lights that come on, and it'll start blinking on the battery that it is charging. And after that one's full, it'll stay lit, and it'll go to the next one and then the next one. So it doesn't charge all three of them at the same time, just one at a time. All right, so the battery fits right into the drone just like this. And then you'll hear a little snap and you know that it's in there. So it's a little drone. Look at it compared to my hand. That's about the sizing on it. So yeah, so it's a small drone. We're going to get it put over there on the phone. I'm going to or get on the, on the floor and then I'm going to get it on my phone and we're going to take the lift off. I also have my GoPro here so that way I can record some footage of this. Um, because I will be using my phone to use the controls on the drone. Okay, so I got the drone here dead center in the gym, but on the side, there's a button you have to push right there, and then a light comes on right there. And so what you have to do is once that light is blinking or it's like connecting, you gotta jump on your Wi-Fi settings on your phone and connect to the Wi-Fi network that comes up that says Tello, and then you're connected to the drone. Alright, so the noise on this thing isn't too bad because a lot of these drones can be really loud like a you know, bunch of bees coming at you but this one isn't too bad the wind yeah you can feel the wind right here um, with the drone and those propellers but all right so
bounce mode does on this. Okay, here's our flip mode. So, so far, I mean, the battery doesn't last long on these little drones like this. I think we got about a 13 minute flight time. That's why I got the fly more package so that way we could fly it a little bit longer. But it's pretty fun so far um, working this drone. And everything's controlled on a smartphone. There's no controller that comes with it. Um, but the good thing about this is, is you know, it does keep the cost down a little bit since you don't have to buy those extra components. But I bet it would be a little bit easier if you did have a joystick controllers in order to control this thing. Um, but yeah, you can tell by the way I'm talking here and the noise from here, whether you're able to have a conversation with somebody uh, while this thing is flying. And so far, yeah, it's doing pretty good. I, I like it. Fine. Bam, there we go. That's a palm landing on your hand. Cool. All right, this is my son's first time flying the drone. First time flying the drone, try not to wreck it. Okay, so it's the next day and I'm here at my house in the backyard and I'm outside and we have a beautiful day here for uh, December. It's unusually warm, but I'm gonna fly the drone outside for the first time and I'm gonna show you guys what kind of footage this thing can take uh, outside. So uh, let's see, let's, let's just, let, I hope I don't get caught in a tree or stuck somewhere because that would really stink, but let's see what this thing can do. All right, so here's a drone just hovering in midair, and the wind is, is blowing, it's blowing pretty good right now. And it's holding steady, as you can see, just maintaining its pressure right there in midair. But it's doing pretty good, even with a, a little bit of wind blowing. There was notifications coming up on the device saying, you know, that it couldn't do certain things because of the high winds. But it does pretty well just sitting there hovering. Okay, so here's the drone flying in midair as high as it can, just hovering with the wind blowing it. But that's, that's pretty high up there. Okay, so the first battery is now dying. It's coming to an end. So we got probably about 13 minutes. That's what they um, advertise it as. That's probably about what we got on this. Um, one thing I did notice as it started to get toward the lower part of the battery, um, you would see it kind of wiggling like that a little bit um, instead of having that nice smooth drone footage that I was taking. So when your battery starts to get a little bit low, your footage may not look as, as good because it will start to wiggle. There was a notification, a warning notification that come on the screen that says land a drone soon because your battery is low. So that's nice that it does um, do that and give you a little bit of warning. Another thing is on the bottom here, there are some sensors. So when I did go to land a drone, um, and I had a full blast going down, it didn't like slam down on the ground. It actually stopped and then hesitated and then it went down. So that's kind of nice also. So that way it protects the blades and protects this thing from crashing. So 
Um, you pay a lot of money for these things. You want it to last a little while. So they do put some good technology in these to make them fun.